On that day when all of that stuff is happening, Allah says, you'll think about all the things you put in front and all the things you put in the back. But it also means other things. It means you will realize and I will realize on that day what was more important and what was less important. Obviously, the things you put in front are more important to you. Right? And I got to do that first because that's more important to me. I care about that more right now. And the thing that you want to, that you put later is not as big of a priority. It's not as important to you. So this statement is also about a person will wake up on that day and realize what are the things that they live, their life showed what was more important and their life showed to them what was less important. What was more important and what was less important. What should they think about? What should they not think about? When they made a decision, you know, whenever we make a decision, there are things we think about, right? Let's take a simple example, like eating food, right? For a Muslim, we're going to think about is it halal or not, isn't it? You might think about other things. Is it healthy or not? Is it in line with my diet or not? Is it a good time to eat this or not? Is it expensive or not? Whatever. There are other factors. But the biggest factor for you and me is, is it permissible or not? Is it halal or not? Number one. But a person could say, well, you know, but it tastes really good. So the halal haram is a second thing. That became mu'akhar. And the taste became muqaddam. The taste became muqaddam. It could be that the health benefits of the food are not great, but the taste is amazing. So the taste became muqaddam and the health benefits or the health harms became muakhar. Right? That's that's what taqdeem and taqheed is. This is what I'm talking about here. What became more important? What became less important? But why is that question being asked on judgment day the moment a person comes out of their grave? They just got ripped out of their grave. And at that moment, that's when they realize what did I make priority and what did I make not, not priority? That's Allah telling you and me that there were lots of times in my life when I had to choose Allah and not someone else. Not myself, not my feelings, not my greed, not somebody else's feelings, not somebody else's concerns, not my wants, not their wants. I had to pick what Allah wants first. But I picked something else. I made something else muqaddam. I, I, I pick someone else or I pick something else or I pick myself. Something else became more important. And you know what? No matter how much we tell ourselves that that's okay, that's us lying to ourselves. That's us fooling ourselves. The reality of it is when Allah and His Messenger وسلم, tell us something, they ask us to do something, when they tell us something is wrong, when they tell us something is mandatory, you have to do it this way, you must never do it that way, then they're doing it because they care more for us. Allah cares and loves me more. And the Messenger وسلم, wants more good for me than I could even want for myself. I could even want for myself. Rasul وسلم, would describe himself as somebody who is trying to take, you know, moth and flies. When they see light, what do they do? They run into it. They run into a fire and he's trying to push them away. Right? People get those mosquito traps that are illuminated and you hear a snap or an electric shock every time another, another one hits it, right? This is our Prophet And people are so, people were like those bugs that are so drawn into it. And when we're shooed away, you're like, why are you wanting me to stop from everything? Why are you making my life hard? Why are you so being so hard on me? Why can't you just let me burn? That's how we see it. Because we're so deluded by what we think is the priority. What we think is the priority. And on that day, when everything is flipped upside down, the sky is flipped upside down, the graves are flipped upside down, the ocean is flipped upside down, that's the one day, the one thing that will be flipped the right side up is our thinking. Right now, everything is in order and our thinking is upside down. And on Judgment Day, everything will be upside down and our thinking will be reoriented correctly. Now I know what the real priorities were. What did I make priority? What did I put on the side? Another way you can think about it is when Judgment Day comes and you realize what your priorities were and what they should have been, what took, what, what came forward, what went in the back seat, how you easily forgot who your Rabb is, so, e you know, so, so easily you let go. It makes sense at that time to talk to yourself and say, you forgetful creature. Ma gharraka bi rabbika al -kareem. Ma is a question word. What in the world deceived you? What in the world gave you false hopes? When it came to your gracious master, bi rabbikal kareem. This, this question is one of the most hard-hitting and heart-penetrating questions in the Quran. Ya ayyuhal insan, ma gharraka bi rabbikal kareem. Like, if you don't 
memorize a lot of Quran or you don't know a lot of Quran, if you want to just write something on your fridge and just think about it every day, put this one on the fridge. Ya ayyuhal insan, ma gharraka bi rabbika kareem. Let's let's dig into what these words are. Gharra in Arabic, to I translate it as deceived. Ibn Ashur in his tafsir says, al itma'u bima yatawahamuhu al maghroor naf'an wa huwa dar. He says, when a person puts their hopes and their thoughts into something that they're deceived by, thinking that it will bring good to them. They'll feel good because of it. They'll be okay because of it. They'll be safer because of it. They'll be happy because of it. They'll be at peace because of it. And all of that's wrong. It's actually harmful. It's actually, they are convinced that it's all the good things they want. They convinced themselves of that. But it's actually harmful. That's ghurur. What does that word tell you? That there are lots of things in life that are very attractive, that we want, that our heart feels towards. But our heart is lying to us. Our heart doesn't have information. Our heart has feelings. It doesn't have the, it doesn't have reality. It's just wow. So our heart needs guidance because our heart is blind. It's, it's, it just sees something it wants, it's drawn towards it. It sees something else it wants, it's drawn toward that. It's, these, it's the longing inside it. What it's missing, it wants to fill it. And Allah, from His revelation, gives, gives vision to this heart. It lets it see. It lets it, thi- it's let it, it lets it think. Know what you want. Your feeling is good, but the direction you're putting it in is not good. Your feeling is something I put in you. The, the, the thing you want, you sh- you're supposed to want it. But the way you're going about it, you're deluding yourself that that's going to bring you peace. And the way he wants you to do it is the way he spell things out. This is the this is the halal way. This is the way to avoid haram. And when he wants us to avoid haram, it's only because we're going to hurt ourselves if we go the haram way. Not anybody else. Or the first victim of it is going to be ourselves. It's going to be me. Nobody, not nobody else. First, first and foremost, it's going to be me. And you know what? Shaitan comes and says, Shaitan comes and says, why are you being so hard on yourself? Why are you being so strict? Why are you being so Islamic? Why, why do you have to do that? And Allah is responding in this question, not even Allah, I'm going to be saying this to myself on Judgment Day. Ya Allah, you gave me the right priorities. You gave me what should be put later. And I didn't listen to you because I kept forgetting who you really are. First of all, I got deceived by the wrong things. And second of all, I forgot who you are to me. Bi Rabbikal Kareem. What deceived you? from your gracious master, your kareem master. I just assume that Allah will give and Allah will give and Allah will give. He's been, he's been taking care of me all this time, so he understands, it's okay. But on that day, I'm not gonna be saying Allah understands. On that day, I'm gonna be saying, what have I made? I made the wrong priorities. You know, alimat nafsum ma qaddamat akharat. Human being, what deceived you? From your gracious man, and then what's what's the description of his grace? Alladhi khalaqaka, fasawaka, faadalaka, fi ayi surat ma sha'a rakkabak. The one who created you, the one who made you balance so you can walk on two feet. He made you able to to distinguish between right and wrong. He balanced you as a human being. He made you a thinking creature. Fasawa, he he perfected your form, made you balanced and just and fair. And any shape he wanted, he, you know, في أي سورة ما شاء أركبك. He he took you through phases in life. Those were his design. But in all of them, every single time, every phase Allah put you through, every adventure He put you through, every difficulty He put me through, every trial He put me through, every experience He put me through, all the people that came into my life, all the people that left my life, every one of them was Allah taking me through a journey. And in every one of them, I had to see what's my priority and what's not. Sometimes we forget about Allah and a person becomes our priority. Sometimes you forget about Allah, ourselves become a priority. We so easily forget over and over and over.